I think he wanna insert uh, a chest tube. There's a condition called uh, tension pneumothorax where air is trapped in the pleural space under positive pressure and uh, it will uh, uh, displace uh, mediastinal structures and also affecting uh, cardiopulmonary function. It can be caused by trauma like in this case, stab wound, gunshot, rib fractures. There's a condition we call uh, flail chest, multiple rib fractures where a person has uh, multiple rib fractures. So treatment is immediate. We need a needle decompression where we insert a, a large bore needle into the second intercostal space and uh, along the middle line. In case of a fluid, we go for fourth or fifth intercostal space and uh, again in the mid axillary line. This is to ensure that uh, you do not injure organs like uh, the heart and even a uh, long thoracic nerve. So ventilation and uh, central venous catheters are contraindicated because they can worsen the condition. There are things to be considered. Sterility, I can see he's using alcohol. Alcohol is uh, a good antiseptic, but uh, just that is not effective against uh, spore forming organisms. And also you have to consider analgesia, proper technique, and lastly safety. By safety, I mean using protective gears like uh, gloves. So when the tube is in place, it's sutured or anchored on the skin to prevent uh, redisplacement and also an uh, occlusive dressing is applied. The drain is to help uh, remove the air or drain the fluid in the pleural space and uh, facilitate the expansion of uh, the collapsed lung. How does it appear on the radiograph? Here in this case, you can clearly appreciate the left border of the lung denoted as number one, which is the outer border of the collapsed lung. Number two, you can see air and bronchovascular marking in the lung fields typical of a pneumothorax. And number three shows rightward shift of the heart. Number four denotes some haziness in the right lung field. Pneumothorax is defined as a collection of air outside the lung, but within the pleural cavity. It occurs when air accumulates between the parietal and the visceral pleura inside the chest. The air accumulation can apply pressure on the lung and make it collapse. The degree of collapse determines the clinical presentation. Air can enter the pleural space by two mechanisms, either by trauma causing a communication through the chest wall or from the lung by rupture of visceral pleural. There are two types of our pneumothorax, traumatic and atraumatic. Clinical presentation of our pneumothorax can range anywhere from asymptomatic to chest pain and shortness of breath. Attention pneumothorax can cause severe hypotension, which may result in obstructive shock or even death. An increase in central venous pressure can result in distended neck veins or hypotension. Patients may have a tachypnea, which is an increase in breathing rate, dyspnea, which is a difficulty in breathing, tachycardia, increased heart rate, and hypoxia, decreased oxygen supply to tissues. Chest radiography, ultrasonography, or CT can be used to diagnose. Although diagnosis from a chest X-ray is more common, occult pneumothoraces may be diagnosed by CT, but are usually clinically insignificant. The extent forecast are Abdominal sonography for trauma, abbreviated as a EFAST exam, has been a more recent diagnostic tool. So, management depends on the clinical scenario. For patients who have associated symptoms and are showing signs of instability, needle decompression is the treatment of a pneumothorax. This usually is performed with a 14 to 16 gauge and a 4.5 centimeter in length angiocatheter just superior to the rib in the second intercostal space in the midclavicular line, as I had shown you in the earlier video. Thereafter needle decompression or for stable pneumothoraces, the treatment is the insertion of a thoracostomy tube. This usually is placed above the rib in the fifth intercostal space, anterior to the mid axillary line. Open sucking chest wounds are treated initially with a three-sided occlusive dressing. Further treatment may require tube thoracostomy and chest wall defect repair. That is it for now. Now you are in the know. My name is Ari. Bye.